What's up, Calvin Gang? All right, so we got this statics problem here. So we have this pipe assembly, and it says that the force is 20 newtons, or 60 newtons, excuse me. So each one of these forces are pushing in opposite directions, and what that means is we have a couple, uh, a couple, like, or a couple force, right? So uh, when we have a couple moments, basically, uh, there's a different way that we can solve these moment problems, right? So using this moment problem, uh, when you have a couple, what you can do is instead the moment. Make sure I'm not in the glare. Yeah, moment around O is equal to the the position vector from A to B, or from like one couple to another, crossed with that force vector. So R A B is going to be a hard thing to find, right? We know that force is 60 newtons, and it looks like it's pushing straight up or down. So we know that it's just going to be 60 in the z direction. So we need to find this uh, position vector, right? So let's go ahead and write our coordinates. So let's label A to be our first point, right? And what is this gonna be? Well, it's gonna be a position, right? So it looks like it goes 200 millimeters in the x direction and 300 millimeters in the y direction. So we can say that this is 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0, because it doesn't go in the x or the z direction. So then B, let's see, what's B? Well, B looks like it goes um, 300 in the x direction and then 200 plus 300 plus 300, so 0 0.3, 0 0.8. Then it doesn't go at all in the z either. Right, so this makes sense. So if we want position vector from R to A and B, of course it's just gonna be tip minus tail. So the tip is B, so it's gonna be 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2, and this is gonna be 0 0.8 minus 0 0.3, 0 minus 0. Of course, so you're gonna get R, A, B, is equal to 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0. Right? That makes sense. Okay, now we just have to plug in this formula and we can figure it out. So this couple moment, which is the vector, I guess. So it's going to be i, j, k, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0. And then, so when we're doing this, right, we know that uh, there's two forces, right? And we're doing this moment force, or this moment, uh, or this couple moment. Uh, it's gonna be, the position vector is gonna point towards a force, and then you're gonna have to take the, uh, the vector of that force that it points at. So in this case, we're making it pointing towards the positive force, right? It points towards the positive force. So because it's pointing towards the positive force, this position vector we just made, we're gonna have to take that positive force to be our force vector. So that vector is 0, 0, and then it goes positive 60 in the y. So if we do this cross product, right? So we're going to take i, and it's going to be 0 0.5 times 60. 0 0.5, 60, minus 0 times 0, i. So then we have to subtract all of j. So then j, we're going to take j, and it's going to be 0 0.1 times 60, minus 0 times 0. And then we're adding k again. So k, we're going to take k, 0 0.1 times 0, so it's going to be 0 minus 0 k. So then if you simplify this out a little bit, we're going to get our answer to, uh, or I guess not yet, I think we're looking for magnitude. So then you're going to get, um, what are you going to get from this? 30i minus 6j, and this is in newton meters. Okay, so then we want to find the magnitude of this, right? I think that's what it's asking for. So magnitude of m is equal to the square root of 30 squared plus the square root of negative six, or negative six squared. And then this is going to give you um, 30.6 newton meters. So that's the answer to part A. Nice, so then part B wants us to find our uh, coordinate direction angles, right? So we can go ahead and get rid of all of this. Uh, we just need these two things at the bottom to find our direction angles. Nice. So what do we know about our coordinate direction angles, right? Or let's see, what is it exactly asking for? Coordinate direction angles at the couple moment, right? So coordinate direction angles, alpha, beta, gamma. So alpha, so we know like cosine of alpha. Actually, this is in the glare, isn't it? Yeah, you guys can't even see that, wow right down here, cosine of alpha. Alpha is going to be your angle, right? 
in the x direction. So for finding cosine of alpha, it's going to be the x component of the vector over the magnitude of the vector. So the x component we found is 30, and then the magnitude is 30.6. So if we want to find alpha, we have to take the inverse cosine. So inverse cosine, because inverse cosine of cosine is just co or whatever alpha, inverse cosine of 30 over 36 or 30.6 is alpha. And that's going to give you 11.4 uh, degrees. So then let's do the same thing for beta and gamma. So beta is equal to the inverse cosine, negative 1, of the y direction. So it's negative 6 this time over 30.6, which is the magnitude. Plug this in, you're going to get to 101 degrees. And then gamma is the y direction. So it doesn't go in the y direction, right? So it's just going to be 0. So cosine inverse of 0 over 30.6. Co inverse cosine of 0 is going to be equal to 90 degrees, of course. There you go. So that's alpha, beta, gamma. And there's the magnitude down there. So that's how you solve this problem. Just kind of make sure that you know that the position vector points at the vector that you're taking the, uh, the, the force of. And then that's how you do the common force. So there you go. Uh, good luck on your statics homework. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. So peace. Have a good one.